What's up guys? In this tutorial, I will show you how to clear or at least reduce the system data storage on your Mac. Your system data storage, previously called Other, includes app caches, temporary files, old time machine snapshots, system logs, iOS backups and old updates. First, we will take a look at your storage settings. Open up your system settings. On this window, head to the General section and select Storage. It might take a moment to load your storage information, and then you can see how much system data you are using. Most of this data will be app caches that allow apps to load quicker. To access your cache files, make sure Finder is selected, or simply click on your desktop. Next, click on Go in the top navigation, and then Go to Folder. A new window will open up. Here, type title, slash library, slash caches. The title key might be under your escape key. Otherwise, you can copy it from the video description. Hit enter and a new folder will open up. Here, you can see the folder names, such as Adobe. You can use the shortcut Command and A to select all files. Right click and select Get Info, which will reveal how much storage space these files are taking up. I can also sort them by size to see which ones I should delete first. In this example, many files are related to app development, creative apps such as Photoshop, Nvidia and Zoom. You can safely delete these files. Don't forget to empty your trash to make sure that these files are actually deleted and that your temporary data is safely cleared. In some cases, local time machine snapshots and backups will also take up a lot of storage space in your system data. We will need to make use of the terminal to clear those. Open up terminal by searching for it in your spotlight search. On this window, use this first command, hit enter and then use the second command to delete all local snapshots. All commands will be listed in the video description. You might be asked to enter your account passwords to continue. This can often free up tens of gigabytes on your local drive. Next, to delete old update files on your Mac, head back to Finder. Click on Go in the top navigation, go to Folder, and then type slash library slash updates before hitting Enter. This folder is quite empty on my end, because I already deleted the update files. You can safely delete everything in this folder. Next, for some of you, the downloads folder will be filled with old .dmg and .pkg files that you no longer need. In your Finder window, head to the download section. Make sure to move those files to your trash that you no longer need. Lastly, let's go back to your storage settings. In the system settings, click on a general and then a storage. You should already notice that this had some impact on your system data storage. Here, you might see some additional storage recommendations, such as emptying your trash automatically, reviewing large files, offloading unused apps or optimizing iCloud storage. Sometimes I like to save some large files and you can compress them and store them in your iCloud or Google Drive storage, so that you always have access to them when needed. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.